recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. Welcome to Lesson 11. This five-minute video lesson covers basic synchronization and Pro Tools LE. You will find this lesson useful if you are trying to synchronize Pro Tools with a keyboard, MIDI sequencer, drum machine, hard disk recorder, or any other device that sends and receives MIDI timecode. There are two ways to do this, either having Pro Tools as the sync master or to have Pro Tools slave to another device. First, we will have Pro Tools as the master. The first thing we'll do is go to the audio MIDI setup and add the device we are going to use. In this case, it's going to be a Roland SP404. Let's start by creating a new configuration. We'll call it Lesson 11. And as you can see, our MIDI interface, a Mode 2 Fastlane USB, is already in the setup. Next, we'll add a device, give it a name. The Roland SP404 does not have a MIDI out, so we'll disable all transmits channels. Next, we'll go to Received, enable MIDI timecode, and in the features, add MIDI machine control. Hit Apply. And since the SP404 is connected out of port A of the fast lane, we'll go ahead and draw the connection. Next, we'll go back to Pro Tools and go to Setup Peripherals. Click Enable and then we're going to send to the Roland SP404. Hit OK, and then go to Session. We want to generate timecode, MIDI timecode, to the Roland SP404, and then close that window. Finally, in Pro Tools, we'll go to MIDI, Beat Clock, and we want to enable it for the Roland SP404. Hit OK. And as you can see, we already have an audio track set up going in mono from the SP404. We'll go ahead and name it. And then we'll test the audio connection. Yeah. Next, with your device, you'll enable MIDI timecode as specified in the manual of the device. Now we will record a few bars of the device synced with Pro Tools. By checking the main counter and looking at the waveform, we can see that Pro Tools is properly synchronized with the device. Next, we will slave Pro Tools to an external device. In this example, we will use the Akai DR16. I have already set up the device to send MIDI machine code, or MMC, as well as MIDI timecode, or MTC. Next, we will open up Audio MIDI Setup and add a device representing the DR16. It's going to transmit MIDI beat clock and MIDI timecode. Hit apply. Go ahead and connect it in the virtual representation in audio MIDI setup. Next we'll go to Pro Tools, go to Setup, Peripherals, and Synchronization. We'll set the port to Akai DR16, and then enable MIDI machine control. Hit OK, and then go to Session. We'll go to the generator and MTC to port DR16. Our time code rate will be 30 because we have already set up in the DR16 the frame rate of 30 frames per second. Next, looking at Freewheel, there are three choices. If you check None, Pro Tools will stop once you have stopped your device immediately. If you set it up for a specific amount of frames, Pro Tools will wait 32 frames to stop after you have stopped your device. And the final choice is JamSync, where after you have stopped your device, Pro Tools will continue until you manually stop it within the program. For this demonstration, we'll choose None. Next, we will go to MIDI Beat Clock and enable the DR16. I have preset the DR16 to start at 5 minutes. If everything is set up correctly, Pro Tools should jump to 5 minutes once I hit play. 
As you can see, Pro Tools is successfully synchronized to an external device. This concludes Lesson 11.